Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Abdul. Today is my long awaited uh, uh, mod day. It's finally here. I'm going to be installing the ARB dual compressor under the hood. And with this, I should have no problem deflating and inflating my tires when I go on beach or off road, uh, which I've needed it. Of course, this, I was waiting for the switch also to be installed, the S-Pod. At the bantam which i did so now this is ready um and the bracket that i'm uh going with for this installation is the metal cloak uh, bracket uh, we'll go into more details on how to install this but first i don't like the color the packaging on this was good uh, it seems like a very good quality uh, the service from the company was very good as well so but first thing first i need to turn this into a black bracket i don't like the color so let's give it a, a power cord and uh, and then we'll start the installation okay this is what I'm using this is actually for my uh, roof rack um, but I don't have anything else with me right now but this is black semi gloss uh, so I'm gonna use this one you can get it from any hardware you don't have to do this just because I like it So the instruction for the bracket um, calls for, basically it utilizes this free hole that's, that's already here and this one. But they want us to drill this, we're going to use the same nut over here, um, but they want us to drill, drill this to with 17, 30, 32. This bit is, is uh, you can have, I mean I had a hard time finding it in my local hardware store so I had to order it online, I'll put the link. Uh, so just be aware of that make sure you have that and it's a little uh, bigger um, bits and make sure that it fits with the drill that you have um, so all I have to do is just drill it and then perhaps I'll use some clear coat to make sure that there's no rusting or anything yeah, so while that's drying up I'm gonna make sure you get the, the drill going um, before uh, inserting it in so now you just use some clear coat um, this is what I'm using get it from auto So now this is uh, prepped, uh, I need to use uh, this uh, rivet nut that they provide, so basically this needs to go in, you need to use the box 1116 wrench to hold it and then uh, a 13 uh, uh, millimeter socket to kind of tighten it. What this will do is expand this brass uh, uh, piece uh, from under and so this way the, the nut can go through it. So with that let's just go start it. this is in this is now going to hold the nut when we put the bracket in and also we have to remove um, the horn uh, from this this will get mounted onto the bracket okay let's attach the this additional bracket um, 
and dry fit it first before I mount um, the compressor to it and bring it back to the engine bay. I just want to make sure everything works. need to use allen key to hold the other end of the nut screw rather I think this is good enough I want a little play okay so let's uh, dry fit it first uh, we need to remove also the horn and um, unscrew the um, the booster, the screw from, from the main uh, booster, brake, brake booster. Um, once that is done, we'll mount the ARB compressor to it. So, this is the master cylinder um, nut, if, if we can focus here. This is what we need to loosen up, not take it all the way out, but just loosen it up. Uh, I'm using a, a box wrench, half inch. Um, it's a little tight spot, but like I said, we're just loosening it up to create some spot for that bracket to go in and then tie it back not taking out there so be careful there's a lot of wires and stuff going around here So it's, it's opened enough, it's a little tight spot, um, it should be good enough to hold the bracket and then tie it back up. Okay, let me dry fit it. Oh, also need to, so this is the one that we prepped, right, and this is the one we need to also, and screw. And we will use the same screw. Okay, let's give it a try. It's gonna be a little challenging when you have the 20 pound compressor on top, too on top of mounted and then trying to okay so I guess I have to remove this the horn bracket the entire bracket I just removed the horn but as you can see um, this is blocking it so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this as well bracket is removed now let's see we gotta move the AC lines a little bit to create some space Yeah, this is how it's supposed to fit. But and I'm gonna go ahead and mount the the compressor onto it and then tidy everything up. The space is a little confined. 